Hello and welcome to uh, a diesel heater burning waste oil sort of diesel heater thing that I've built. Okay, I'm just going to turn it on, let you see it doing it, and then I'll explain what it is that it's doing. Right, here she goes. Right, I'll bring you back when it's actually gone through its startup thing and it's getting ready to fire up. Bring you back then. Okay, the process begins, hopefully you can hear it. And it's starting on diesel just now, as it would be normally. The diesel is burning inside the diesel heater burn tube, the glow plugs going, all of that's doing it normally as a normal diesel heater would at the moment. I'll speed this bit up uh, to get through to the actual starting to go hot and burny things. Cocking balls. Sure, starts very first time when you're not filming, and as soon as you've tweaked the thing and then start filming again, it won't light. Marvelous. Right, yeah, this is think this might be my third attempt at filming this starting. So uh, yeah, starting on diesel. Hopefully, glow plugs glowing. Starts on diesel as normal diesel heater as heats the bits up, and then we switch to. Waste oil, hydraulic oil, veg oil, whatever, and then it burns there, hopefully, this time. Yes, this time. Okay, I'm feeling better this time. Everything's red hot. And in 30 seconds or so, we should swap over to waste oil. Fingers crossed it lights this time. We should begin burning waste oil now. The roaring noise has kind of stopped because that's no longer the diesel being burned inside the diesel here. It's now the waste oil being pumped into the hot dish. And hopefully if I've got my fueling mostly right, it'll eventually spread round, hopefully. It's it's okay. I mean, it kind of works. I mean, technically it's doing it, so... It's... not terrible. I think my downdraft burner bit's gonna need a bit of work in uh, my dish as well. But they are just made from scrap bits at the moment. So, so yeah. It's, it's doing it. I think basically my dish is too big. That's what the problem is at the moment. I've gone, I've gone too big. Yeah, it's kind of settled down now, it's a bit less pulsy and a bit more continuous burn. Not the cleanest burn, it's a bit uh, smoky. Not that you can see it, but it is a bit on the smoky side. But that's because we're wasting all of the air around here. Ideally we want all of the air and all the flame to be mixed, but we're just too big at the moment. But here, come and have a look. So, if you can see in there... Let me zoom you in a bit. You can see the oil nozzle. I say nozzle, it's just a pipe, basically dripping oil, oh, that's too much, into that dish where it's nice and hot and it kind of flashes and evaporates and you burn the uh, evaporated material and leave all the junk behind. Uh, that's the diesel pump that was pumping the diesel in and that's the 
waste oil pump, pump the waste oil, waste oil tank, the heater itself, slightly modified, slightly. Right, well we've seen it running and it hasn't stopped. Okay, so proof of concept, uh, okay that kind of works. Right, let's turn it off then. So we'll turn it off and obviously it stops pumping oil and then whatever's left just kind of slowly burns off. And glow plug comes on, etc, etc, etc. Right, put my gloves on, not gauntlets, but you know what? Let's just give this five minutes to cool down. I'll bring you back in five minutes once it's once it's cooled down a bit. Boop. All right, send it. All right, it's cooled down a bit-ish. Right, this is a piston. It is not integral to this. It's just holding my tuna can down because it's too light. Let me just set it there because it's quite hot. So, this is my tuna fish uh, tin can. I basically just needed something that would divert the air up and down the hot burning air and the, well, eventually just cold air. So that's just that bit. That's just a tuna fish can. That is a burn chamber with some little legs cut in the top of it so the air's got somewhere to go. That is just a bit of copper brake pipe that's, because obviously the uh, plastic fuel line would just melt. That's just a bit of copper brake pipe doing the thing. This is uh, one of those dog bowls that you would use if for greedy dogs to stop them eating everything all at once. It's one of the, it's just a dog bowl but it's got the raised bit in the middle because I thought that would be good, you could put the burn chamber through there and then drip the oil into here and so on and so forth. But yeah, it's just a stainless steel dog bowl and you can already see how much crud's been in that just from the few times that I've run it so far. Right, and that brings me to my slightly modified heater. So I cut, well, I cut the end off it. Where's the end here? Granted, this was one that had been modified for the self-powered diesel heater project, but I basically just chopped that bit off. Cut that bit off and that gives you an open uh, burner, yeah, that was that, so that's that, and obviously once you've cut the top off there's nowhere for the housing temperature sensor to go, so I've just poked in a bit of silicon tube and I pointed it at the bottom of the dog bowl and it was, well, it was reading like 170 degrees. Initially I did have it touching the dog bowl, but once it got to 285 and shut down, that was too much, so I moved it back a little bit. So it's got an air gap and that lets it see it's lit, think it's running and thinks it's running okay. Uh, the only other thing I've done on this heater, right, let me angle it down a bit. You can't see it, but I've taped up the back of the fan so it doesn't suck air and blow out, it just spins to let it know that it's got magnets that spin. I could have, as other David suggested, print off uh, or 3D print a disc with put magnets in it and just have a spinning disc, but for the sake of five minutes of sticking tape onto the inlet of the fan, it stops it sucking air and blowing everywhere. But yeah, so, I've seen it, it works. It will start and run and that's okay. So what I'm thinking is, if we had a bur the burn chamber and we cap the end of it off entirely and then drill holes all the way around the burn chamber so that air, instead of going up and over, is going up and out all round. And if we had a much smaller, obviously not the big dog bowl was that size, but if we bring it in a lot closer, if we had, same again, we need... We need a trough, we need somewhere for the oil to go that's not going to run back down into the heater. So if we made that longer, just to give us a bit more space to play with, and then we could cap it off, and then we could have a dish that would sit round, and then we could drip the oil in, or feed it in from a side, or the base, have it rub and over, basically so it's got a lot more 
tighter confinement to blow the air at and mix and evaporate. And then obviously your hot gas goes up and out and we would have some sort of container or something a bigger, you know, to be the heater body itself and a little gas bottle or something, just something that uh, radiates the heat off and uh, probably an exhaust going off somehow. But that's what I've got so far. Option B is, I don't know, I just run it like this and then this is just a short bit, but I could just put like a big long piece of pipe on the end of it, like like meters or so length of pipe with an exhaust at the end, and just have it blow hot everything through the pipe and just use the pipe as the radiating body itself. Uh, obviously it doesn't have to be vertical, then it can just be horizontal as well. Uh, and that because, well, here's the thing, we either drip waste oil into the thing, into a dish and burn it that way. Or we just go the whole hog and just plumb waste oil diesel mix into the burner and let it clog up. Or if it doesn't clog up, because if we're not running it with a heater body but an open housing and letting it run like that, will it run cleaner, better? From some people have said, and I, I don't know how much truth is in this because I can't test it, but basically they say once this, uh, this is the mesh that lives in at the back of the burn chamber. Once this all clogs up, the heater will still operate. It will still continue to run and burn. So there might be a thing that even once this is carboned up, waste oil, it might not make a, such a huge difference that, well, if we're burning waste oil already, you know, the burning process, we definitely need the disc in the inside, that, this. This needs to exist in the inside because that's what keeps uh, the hot gases down there long enough so you've got your wick round the outside and in, in the middle of that you've got the kind of slotted uh, cylinder that blows the air out towards the the wicking surface and if you don't have that disc down there to keep the air down there long enough to get blown out into the wick uh, the whole combustion process just goes to shit and that it is so that is quite a vital component down there the other option i thought is uh do i have a, a burn chamber to hand here yes, let's use this uh, if we were to someone also suggested uh taking this back cap off and letting a lot more air in so it's not just going through these grooves it's actually going straight through the hole in the middle as well and getting a lot more air in the burn chamber for burn waste oil. So that's an option. Uh, right, the other thing I was going to suggest is that we somehow, if we can, pipe another fuel line up and in, in through the back here and drill it and just have it exit right in the middle of the burn chamber in the, that, the cylinder with the slat, slats. Slats? The cylinder with the slats. And so we're injecting the waste oil straight into the dream of well, burn diesel so it would be like a 50 50 mix and see what happens with that but these are my thoughts i would like to um, hear your any other suggestions or thoughts you may have and this is a sneak peek uh, of something we're going to look at shortly but basically this heater has been able to operate on diesel and waste oil because of jonathan lang's turbo heat controller there that allows you to use Two fuel pumps and two tanks of things and it does the mixing for you. You basically just one pump, one pump, two fuel lines and then a Y piece just as good here and then you can have diesel, uh, veg oil, ATF oil, hydraulic oil and it'll mix them in whatever ratio you want on can work best inside the heater. So that's still an option as well. We we'll might try actually burning waste oil in the heater body itself like that but have like, uh, I don't know, 50-50 diesel waste oil, see how that works in there as well, That's but I'm going to make a separate video on the operation of this at the moment, but this is just a prototype. These are not in production as yet, but they will be and we'll do a full video on it and I'll show you all of the things that it does. But right, for now, uh, suggestions, comments, questions uh, on the design of what we can change or alter but it has to be simple. I don't want like machining things and basically, well, I can make it a scrap. 
whatever scrapping bits like um, tuna fish cans, like whatever we've got lying about that we can make out of things and other people can make out of things. Like this was just done by a grinder and a chop sauce, that's bit's not hard, but you could have done the whole thing, can't it, with a grinder if it came to it. But if we can have suggestions, comments, yes please. And as always, thanks for watching.